Hey Tinker Nerds, as you more observant viewers may have found out, my high definition camcorder is still in the shop. So at least for this video and probably my next tutorial, I'm going to be doing them via webcam. Some of you guys asked what type of webcam this is. Well, it's a Microsoft high definition live cam. It was like 40 bucks off Amazon or something like that. So um, that should answer that question. Now I mentioned that for these videos, I'm going to kind of give a behind the scenes look into how I make my videos and the process of video blogging, things like that. So to stay true to that, in this video I'm going to show um, in my introductions how I make my logo kind of uh, bleed in or um, kind of like uh, liquid fade in. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that. Um, kind of quickly it's not really a difficult process as long as you know what to do and as long as you can be creative and the reason I'm showing you guys this is uh, for inspiration um, so you guys can create your own logos if you start mimicking what I do then you're gonna get more ridiculed and praise um, but if you take what I do and build on top of it then that's uh, gonna make it that much better and people are gonna be more likely to watch and respect what you do so that's why I'm showing you guys not so you can copy it but so you can use that and build on top of it and that's kind of the uh, uh, trick to making yourself popular is taking what others have done and taking it that step further if you just mimic what I do you're gonna bore the crap out of people so um, here you guys go um, hopefully you enjoy it Wow, this is the first actual screencast that I've done in a while. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I've still got the knack for it. Um, so I use Adobe After Effects for my editing, as uh, most of you guys know, and yet I still get asked that question all the time. Um, so um, I bought this uh, whenever um, I was in college, and I had a student discount, so for the whole suite, the Adobe Suite, it was like 300 bucks. Um, but what I have in here is uh, a background for my video and my logo. And those are the only two uh, images that we'll be using for this. Now, keep in mind, I'm not doing the entire introductory video, I'm just showing you guys how to make the logo bleed in like I did it. So, um, what you'll need to do is make a new composition and I'm just going to make it high definition, 1280 by 720, um, 29.97 frames per second, and the duration is just 30 seconds, but we'll probably trim that down. Now, the key to this is finding a, um, a ink drop animation. Um, uh, video Copilot has some that you can purchase, which are very excellent to use in videos. Uh, it's a black background with a white ink drop, but I found out that you can also um, download them from YouTube. Uh, you just search for ink drop matrix freeze, and it pulls up all these different ink drops that you can download using KeepVid and just save them uh, to your computer and use them in your videos. Uh, the one that I'm going to be using for this video is the uh, Inside Matrix Time Freeze 1. I've already downloaded it to my computer, um, but you can use any of these uh, if you have any use for them in other videos. It's this is a fantastic resource, uh, tons of stuff that you can use here. So um, let me just uh, drag the one that I downloaded into my composition. Um, so this is it and I'll put it on my composition if we fast forward a little bit you'll see it animate there and I'll go ahead and put the background down here as well and the logo as well now we're gonna end up using three copies of the logo so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it three times I just hit control D on my keyboard to do that and two of these logos are gonna go above the ink drop and then we'll just click this little eye switch over here so that they're not visible for right now. We don't want them visible for right now. Um, 
and I'll go ahead and turn the sound and visual off of the ink drop as well so this logo uh, we're gonna scale it up a little bit so I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scaling option and enlarge that to the size I want it which is about right there uh, we'll just make it 200 uh, but this is your preference whatever logo you're using whatever size it is you can scale it up as necessary now another we'll go ahead and turn the ink drop logo back on another problem with this is that um, it's very slow it, it's 30 seconds long and we don't want it that long that's way too long for an introduction so um, I'm going to um, make this faster the way to do this is to do um, uh, uh, time remapping on it so if you right click on it you can go up to time enable time remapping and it brings up uh, two little time points and if you drag any one of these time points it's gonna readjust the time for the video it's gonna make it faster or slower so you can add some to it and make it fast and slow then fast and slow but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this end time point and drag it down to about five seconds and this is gonna make it much faster as you can see here now for this extra stuff over here um, I'm just gonna crop it down because that's just a still frame it doesn't move at all as you can see there it's just still so we don't need that so we're gonna just crop this down to the five second mark and now um, I'm gonna scale this up as well so I'm gonna hit S scale it up to the size of the logo probably larger and what we're gonna do I'll go ahead and show you what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ink drop and um, incorporate it over the logo we're going to mat it onto the logo um, so what we're to do this you want to hit this toggle switch button if you uh, j see what I'm seeing here if you have the little square option you want to hit the toggle switches till you see a drop down menu and you'll see up here it's for track mats so what we want to do is we want to set the main logo equal to um, the ink drop for the track mat and since it's since the track since the ink drop is black and white we want to make this a, a luma track mat so we want to select the luma track mat um, for the track mat for the main logo and what this is going to do um, once you select that it's going to turn the visual off for the ink drop and it's going to set uh, it's going to use it as a track mat for the main logo. So if we start at the beginning, you'll see that as we progress along, it starts to reveal the logo with the uh, um, ink drop. Um, now, one problem here is that this is a little bit faint. So what we can do to change that is click the visual back on for the ink drop, and we can brighten it up. So if we go to Effect, color correction levels we can just uh, uh, shrink this uh, far right corner up and as you can see in the video it's gonna make it wider um, and what this means is that more luminescence means it's gonna reveal br more it's gonna be more vibrant in its reveal now another thing that I did was instead of having the actual logo I, made it look as if it was burning in to do this you want to change the mode for the logo from normal to color burn or classic color burn either one should be fine um, there's not that much of a difference between the two um, I'll just stick with color burn and this makes it look like it's kind of burning in with smoke or smoke is blowing by or something like that so um, that is our reveal. I'm actually going to make this logo a little bit larger. So uh, uh, Actually, I'm just going to move it over so that it makes it all the way to the end of the logo. I'll probably make it a little bit larger as well. And um, take a look and see how that looks. So yeah, see that covers the whole logo. So. Um, it goes from one end of the logo to the other, so we have an actual reveal there. 
Now, as you can see, it kind of disappears at the front here. So what I did to fix that is what we're going to be using the second logo for. So I'll go ahead and turn on the visual for the second logo, and I'm going to set it uh, uh, to the same scale, which we scaled it up to 200 on the first one. So we'll scale this one up to 200 as well. And we're going to set the transfer mode to uh, color burn as well. And all we're going to do is we're going to have this fade in on top of the other logo um, so that it looks like as it's burning in, it's creating the full logo. You'll, you'll see what I mean. So hit T on your keyboard to change the opacity of this. And we'll start, um, let me turn this off real quick. We'll start when a majority of the logo has been revealed. So probably about there at the E. That's probably its most vibrant. So we're going to start turning on the opacity here. So we'll click the, the stopwatch to start the opacity. And then we'll go pretty much to uh, the end of the logo, to when it reaches the end of the logo. And we'll uh, add a keyframe for the opacity there as well. So I'm going to go uh, back in, in to the first keyframe and set it to 0 so that it fades in. So if we uh, start this at the beginning, you'll see that the other logo, uh, well, it should fade in. Oh, I forgot to turn the visual back on. All right, so now we should have it fade in on top of the other logo, like that. And the last thing that I did was I added the original logo on top of all this and had it fade in as well. So that's what this third copy of the logo is for. We'll scale it up to 200 as well. And then we will um, have this fade in as well. So we'll go to about the uh, four second mark and enable the, the uh, well, well, let's hit T for opacity, enable the stopwatch for opacity. And we'll go to about uh, five seconds. And um, we'll put another keyframe. And we'll jump back to the first keyframe and drag this down to zero. So now, as we um, reveal the logo, it fades into an actual full-size logo and then it fades into the actual logo so that's pretty much what I did for the logo reveal um, so I can crop this down and hit trim comp to work area and then just uh, render it out the best way to render it out is go to composition add to render queue always render mine out as a quick time video click OK, OK, and then uh, set the location. I'll just render it out to my desktop and click render and it should render. And it's going pretty fast here so we might actually be able to take a look at it and not waste too much of your time. Um, I'm surprised it's actually going fast because I'm recording at the same time uh, but I guess it's not I guess there's not that much going on. Some of my videos I have so much going on it takes several hours for it to completely render out. So let's hope it doesn't uh, get screwed up here. Alright, so it did take a little bit longer than I expected so I went ahead and paused the video. And now we'll open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the QuickTime file. And if we click play, um, it's a little bit jumpy because I'm recording at the same time, so it's kind of having a fit. Let's see if we can do that again. So that's what the color burn looks like. I guess I'll just have to scrub through it. That's what the entire uh, logo reveal process is. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope this wasn't too long. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you next time.